Welcome to First Touch. My name is Nick Riccio, and today we're going to demonstrate the First Touch administrative website. A couple key points up front. First is accessing the website. To access the First Touch admin website, go to www.firsttouchteam.com and in the upper right click admin sign in, then enter admin website and then enter your login ID and your password. After entering your login ID and your password, your landing page lists the number of teams that you have associated with this account. On the left, you'll see quick links. The First Touch Admin website is really the setup of the users of the app. That includes the number of teams, um, adding staff, players, and parents to the app, activating a team which initiates all of the invitations to be sent um, out to your team members so that they can download and access the app, an import feature, managing your calendar events, and sending team email in terms of administrative functions, and then certain club um, account access, uploading a club logo, adding licenses, editing your account profile, editing in-app links such as news curriculum, games, and bookmarks, and then of course um, an area to support uh, to contact us if you have any support related matters. Another important differentiator is the club account access that's the person that's created the account only they will have the ability to add teams to the club account when you add a team you simply type in the team name and click save then that will that particular team will show up in your list of teams you can see in this account we have 12 teams and today we're gonna work with the U14 boys Abbey Villa team Another important differentiator is that the club administrator will be able to will be the only person that can assign a team administrator. To assign a team administrator, you simply click in this NA, then you type in the person's email, assign them a password, click apply, and that will email that person an invitation to access this particular team on the First Touch admin site. It's important to note that that the club account administrator is the only person who can initiate that invite by creating the team administrator. And you can see the nice thing about this is you can have up to four team administrators with this particular team. Once the team administrator has emailed the invitation to access this admin site, they will then have access to come in here and add staff, add players, add parents, and really manage their team. But again, the club account administrator, the person who set up this, um, through their login password, uh, their login password and ID, they'll be able to add teams and activate teams and really see the whole landscape of all the teams that are associated with the account. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm, I'm again going to work with the U14 Boys Abbey Villa team, and I'm going to assume that I'm the team administrator for this account. Here you can see the person's name, their email address, and these, these email addresses are made up for demonstration purposes. Whether they've logged into the account at all, it's not whether they're currently logged in, but it's whether they have accessed the account um, at any one point in time, and then their role, whether they're staff, player, or family members. Again, the team administrator here that's listed here must also create themselves in this list here, whether they're a staff person, a player, or a parent, in order to have access to the app. So, to be clear, anyone listed here has access to the admin website, but anybody listed here, if they want to have access to the app, they, sh they need to also be listed here. In this list, everybody that does have access to the app. So, let me quickly show you that this team has this these members here four staff members actually five staff members and several players 
George Hill, a staff member, hasn't logged into the app yet. So let me put some real life visual inside the app. Here's an iPad. And here's the team, the U14 Boys Abbey Villa. And this is the first touch team app interface. And I click on contacts. And you'll see if I go to staff, there's the five staff people listed. And you can see George Hill is not logged in yet. If George Hill becomes logged in, you will see a login check mark show up next to George's name, and you'll also see this not logged in disappear from the contacts list. So inside the app, whether it's all the players and the family members um, or the entire list, you can really manage um, which players and parents and staff members have signed in the app either through the admin site or through the app itself. And again, all of these people, by being set up on the First Touch admin site here, all of the people inside the app now now have the ability to send messages, um, staff members, and uh, a, a manager with manager access inside the app can send alerts and create team calendar events. But all of the membership will be able to um, send messages, post photos to the gallery, um, look at the news and the curriculum in the storefront, and be able to access the app. Um, with all of its full functionality. To, for a team administrator to add a player, it's very simple. Um, adding a player, adding a staff, adding parents, all the functionality of the admin site are down here at the bottom of the team. To add a player, you can simply click on add players. You add the player first name, last name, and then if the player does have a, a legitimate email, um, that they uh, have shared with the team and that this team can use, you would enter that in the player email. If it's a parent email address, you'll want to enter the parent email address here. Um, what that does is if a player email doesn't exist, say it's a younger, a younger player on a team, the parent email will become associated with the player name. That becomes very important for reasons I'll explain in a short bit. Just add a first name, last name, and an email address, click Save, and then your players added to this team. They'll be sent, as soon as you click Save, they'll be sent a first touch invitation to that email address, whether it's the player or the parent, and then they'll have, from that email that's sent to them, they'll have the ability to download the app and log in um, with the user ID and the password that's included in the email. Same thing with adding staff members. It's very simple, a first name, last name, and email address, and adding parents. When I click on a player name, that important, um, uh, the important uh, sync between the parent email and the player email is what I wanted to point out right now. This is the player information for Andrew Fund. Um, you could say Andrew does have a, uh, a uh, demonstration email address. But if Andrew's parent wanted to be associated with this email address, we'll go ahead and find the parent. And here it is, Susan Fund. I'm going to highlight Susan's email address. I'm going to go back into Andrew's account. I'm going to enter Susan's email address here and then click Save. Now you can see when I go back into Andrew Fund, it's populated Susan's name automatically by association with the parent email address. And now the important, the important mention of what this feature has just done. By including the parent associated with the player name on the First Touch Admin site, you've now given access to the parent to RSVP to events on behalf of the child. This function creates that relationship, and it's a very necessary um, function to have when you're dealing with some of the youth teams that First Touch has in their family of um, app users. Another important feature of the app is as you add players and family members, again, this will give them the ability to come into the app and send messages, look into the gallery, look at the calendar. But only staff people and a team administrator with manager access can create and send alerts so only they'll see this red button here at the bottom and only they'll be able to create 
team calendar events. Anyone will be able to see the personal calendar function to add a personal calendar event, but only staff people and team administrators with manager access will see the team calendar option. How that's important on the admin site. Any staff member will be able to create and send alert or create a team calendar event. To give a family member or a player manager access, you want to click on their name and then add as manager. So if I add Todd as manager, now when I go back down to my list, you'll see the MGR next to Todd's name. And now Todd has designated access in the First Touch app to create and send alerts and manage the team calendar. And nobody else will be able to do that except the staff members. Again, if Todd is the manager and I want Todd to have admin site access, then I also need to copy and paste Todd's email, click on the admin, and add Todd's name here. And now you'll see Todd's email address listed as a team administrator. Again, I can do that with up to four people, but I want to go back to the point I made mention of before where Todd's email address is listed here. That gives him access to the admin website, and he'll be sent a separate email on that. But Todd must also be added here with everybody else to have access to the app. And that goes true for um, staff members, family members, or players. Emailing invitations. If I want to email the entire team, I just did so by clicking the email invites. The invitations will go out to everybody who doesn't have who hasn't logged into the app. It will not resend invites to people who have, who have a check mark next to them. If I want to send an individual invitation and manage it that way, I click on their name and click email invite. Emailing the entire team, just a regular email, not necessarily the invitations, that function is here. If I click on email team, it'll pre-populate all the team members. I can type in a subject, and then I can type in the body of my email and hit send email. I can also attach files if I need to. I can also view my team calendar here. And any changes that I make to my calendar here will be reflected in the app here. So an example, if I want to go into January 2015, you'll see that for today's date, January 20th, I have nothing in that event listing inside the app. In the admin website, if I want to create an event, I'll say it's a home game. I'll say the location is Boston. It's field number one. And I'm going to leave everything else as is and I'm going to click Add Event, 6 a.m. home game. Now, when I go back into the app, you'll see the home game is now listed. So just by adding that app to the admin website, you've now informed all of your team members that there's a home game at 6 a.m. Going back here, if I need to make any changes, they'll be reflected real-time in the app, but the beauty of the First Touch system is that the team administrator or anyone with access to the team admin site can manage the calendar here, or you can also manage it while you're on the run simply by coming in here and clicking Edit and changing any of these game um, logistics that you need to. Going back to the admin site. You can also copy and paste this team calendar URL and mail it out to your team members and then they can link their phone or devices calendar with the First Touch team calendar. That becomes a very useful feature for all the parents who want their device calendar um, to sync up with the First Touch calendar. So the way to do that here is to simply email this URL and then your parents will be able to sync their phone calendar with the First Touch team calendar. The First Touch team administrative website is the way for the club account administrator to manage all their teams and the way for the team 
listed administrators to manage the team members, send invitations, communicate with the team, and manage the team calendar. Another important um, aspect of the admin website for the club level administrator is when you add teams, you'll also be able to manage the activation of that team. What's nice with this is if I click on this team and I want to continue to add team members but I don't want invitations to be sent, I can do that here and then when I go back to this Team Henry listing, you'll see by this activation still um, not showing a check mark that no matter how many members, staff, players, and families I create, until this is activated here, the invitations won't be sent. So in terms of communicating first touch to your team and timing the setup of the app with um, them telling to be prepared to download and log into the app, you can do that um, on your own schedule um, by, by creating the team, creating the team members, and then activating it when um, you want to control sending those out to all the, um, the staff members, the players, and the family members. All of these with check marks are teams that have been activated. And again, once a team is activated and you create any team members from there, it'll automatically send them an invitation um, to download and access the app. So that is the First Touch administrative website. Um, hope you enjoyed the demo. And if you do have any questions, please email nriccio at pgnapps.com, and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you.